Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I really appreciate you stopping by. Today, today in particular, I'm at Cedron Creek Park on Whitney Lane. Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I really appreciate you stopping by. If this is your first visit, I'd be grateful if you'd consider clicking on that subscribe button. Hey, I've been wandering around the great state of Texas and I've been wandering around, doing a lot of wandering around, mostly in Texas, exploring campgrounds and creating videos for you, the RVer, to go and experience those campgrounds so you'll know what you what you're getting into before you get there and today i am or actually this whole week i'm down at lake whitney but today in particular i am at cedron creek park it's the u.s army corps of engineer park on whitney lake so let's go check out cedron creek park May 10th, 2021, and we've had an unseasonably cool cold front come through. Uh-oh. All right. Cue that music. Got cars, all of a sudden, a whole lot of cars behind me. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna cheat so we don't have to slow down this way. So the first place we're gonna visit in Cedron Creek Park is the day use area. The group campsite and the boat ramp. Cedron Creek Park is one of my favorite campgrounds on Lake Whitney. Actually, it is the favorite. It is open seasonally, seasonally, or easy for me to say. So I close it in the winter. I think uh, first of October through the first of March. And you'll see why it's my favorite right here. I mean, just the whole campground is just beautiful. We'll go opposite the flow of traffic. That way you can get a good look at the campsites. And I'll try to go slow. Unfortunately, we don't have the best lighting today. We've got storms coming in this afternoon, so this is supposed to be cloudy for the next two days. So I saw a couple of squirrels, a couple of, there's a lot of squirrels, but this morning I saw two deer close to my campsite. So these sites are all kind of close together. They're 30 and water, 30 amp site, run you about $20 a night. Well, water and electric site will run you about $30. I don't think they have any full connections here at Cedron Creek. At least I have not seen any. And there's there's you know, only so many campsites. Uh, 
So this is the beach area. Right now the lake is extraordinarily high. So that your, your day use area is all pretty much underwater. Lake Whitney, for, if you're not familiar with Lake Whitney, Lake Whitney is on the Brazos River. And normally this lake, you know, during most of the year, the, the lake is super clear. But right now, not so much because of the spring rains. So this would be your boat ramp. Not going to see much in the way of boat ramp because it is underwater. Water's actually dropped down about a foot since yesterday. That's Monday. So the park is practically empty. Most of the campers are in the other two areas that we'll be seeing directly, shortly, soon. This is your group camping area. So if you're going to hold a rally or something, this is this is where you would res make those reservations. This will be a great place for uh, Lollapalooza. There are a lot of turkey vultures. If you've been following the channel for very long, you'll know that I typically use the Max Lens mod for this type of video, uh, but I didn't bring it. Dang it! We have the new RV, and so we've been still trying to figure out how we fit into that. And, I just overlooked some of my camera gear. All right, we're gonna head over to the other, other side of the park. It's not a real big park. There do not seem to be any hiking trails available. At least none that are official hiking trails. If you're coming to Cedron Creek with your RV, be advised that the dump station is probably one of the worst that you'll ever visit. In order to, yeah, we'll just drive through here so you can see what I'm talking about. So they've set this up so that you only can come in from the one direction. And when you get over here, you'll notice that it 
slopes away so your, your rig actually the wheels drop into a hole here and it makes it very difficult to completely empty your tanks and then uh, open your your valves slowly because if you open them all at once it'll burp and overflow that's the voice of experience talking there happened to us Right, now these, the campsites over in this area are the ones that I really like. They're a little more secluded, I guess. All right, and I will definitely go the wrong way. There's some really good campsites on this loop. That one is a really good one if you've got a big rig. And my, and my favorite of all of them is this one right here. Hold on, I, I can't see the number. The number's kind of faded out. But we're, we're gonna zip in there since we're here and I'm telling you it's my favorite. 37. And we're headed to the last one. We'll be doing a, a loop de loo there. And what I mean by that is we're going to go all the way through and then come back to, to camp. Slowing down. Ooh, look at that, that beautiful super sea. I like them super seas. And right down there is where most people have been launching their boat. Now that's a big site right there. That's a huge pull through. Super quiet in this in Cedron Creek. Cedron Creek is a very quiet campground. All right. Man, those are always so much fun, even on cloudy, dreary, chilly days. They are fun. 
if you're still with me at this point thank you so very much i'm truly honored that you would spend your time with me for those of you who have been following along thank you i am so deeply honored especially to my patrons you guys rock all right y'all come back now you hear